Perfect spot for Jordan Smith, 144. Watch this for a wedge game. Wonderful control spin. There's nothing rushed about his swing. Helping Breeze. Just popping one in there. Yeah, by his standards, that's very poor. This one's left to right. Doesn't break as much as it looks. And it is slow. Very slow. That's a beautiful stroke. There you go. It's not a mystery. The game of golf's no mystery. How about that? That was an absolute bonus. John Smith just on the upslope got the easiest. Two or three practice swings, just trying to get the number in his head. Five yards nearer, so... He's seen two balls not really do an awful lot when they hit the green, so... That'll help him. Oh, that is a masterclass of pitching, isn't it? That was excellent. Yeah, Superb yeah. chip from where he was. Superb pitch, Tony, wasn't it? Yeah. And three <laughs> birdies in a row. Gives himself a two shot lead. It's a beautiful afternoon in the Algarve. Now Jordan Smith just easing one in there, trying not to float this. It's an absolute joy to watch that golf swing. It is so beautifully repetitive. It's a tricky one after such a good tee shot. Yes! Superb. Once again, from Jordan Smith. Lovely too there. And this is the other play. Driver, Jordan Smith. It's a brave play, but it is on. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? You could not place it better. Really excellent. Yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Fairway does sit across you, but it's no narrower than the 10th tee shot. So it is worth it if you're a good driver of the ball. 75, Jordan Smith. Difficult to get this close, it's got a ridge to go up and over. See sort of 50-50, one's running it and the other's lobbing it. That's how difficult this is, he's gone for the aerial route. Yeah, I think the green's soft enough to negate the fact that the ridge is a problem there. And He's pitched the ball so well and controlled distance so well and doesn't look like he's going to make a mistake. It's a nasty one actually because it looks almost straight but yeah I think it just nudges right. Well, it's been flawless golf from Jordan Smith. Got it on a piece of rope right now though. Jordan Smith and another fairway find up. Right, he's looking. But we've got to go a lot. <coughs> you know what? When your misses are straight, you're in good shape. Just got to be careful here. This is almost too easy for Jordan Smith. Only full concentration needed. Well, he's certainly got that today, hasn't he? It was a simple, simple shot, but then you still have to make it look simple, Tony, don't you? Yeah, you sure do. Well, to get to 19 under par, Jordan Smith. <laughs> it's 
not really fair to City. He's making the game look too easy today, Jordan that, Smith. That was Thomas Peters' winning score last year, 19 under. Seventy-three. This is why you spend hours practicing your pitching just for this moment. Horrible bounce. We didn't actually see the bounce, Anthony. What do you mean? Caught the fringe of the green and the and the and the first cut. Just kicked it forward. Should have been stone dead. That desperately unlucky. Really just whip across the hole and that's great pace. He's looked so assured and so confident. Has not put a single step wrong today. And he is at 20 under par already. And still birdie chances to come. Great birdie chance for Jordan Smith at 15. Just get it just short. 300 the front. Also headed left. There is some attraction out there that we have yet to, to work out. Average lie, really, for Jordan Smith. Looking left, I would suggest. <coughs> it's one or two moving behind. Oh, a bit of a down slope. It just, mm, I don't know, I don't like this at all. He needs to stay aggressive on this. He could easily leave his short on the up slope. Shot. Oh, oh, we've seen everything. We have seen everything. It was flying, it was bouncing, it was hopping possibly over the back. Another hot skip and a jump in. Saw that from Falkenden on the front nine. And now from Jordan Smith at the 15th. Eagle, and he has got to 22 under par. Is he going to have a go at it? Right hand pin, it's a dangerous one. 25 feet left of the flag would just be ideal. Get a pin out right 20, 25 feet left, you'd be overjoyed. Okay. And that's fine. That's fine. Two putt birdie from there. It's a long two putt birdie, but you know what? He's watched an absolute shambles going on in front of him. He might have seen Eddie Pepperell's putt from there as well. <laughs> Very easy to run this four or five feet by. Good view of it there. You see the ridge about halfway along, so it's uphill a little bit and then downhill. <coughs> well, it was 66 feet exactly, and he's hit it about 62 of those. I said we wouldn't bet against him holding this. Not to jinx him, but. Putter has been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, changed, changed his putting grip, changed his putter a month or so ago in France. Peter Green has been fantastic all year long and now he's 10 under for this round. Yeah, this is dangerous, isn't it? Too greedy, it could have a problem. Oh, only half a swing. Yeah, just nudging it forwards. That's the play. Oh, you still had to hit that. It's pretty narrow down there. Yeah. This is where your numbers and the hours you practice come into play, because it's all about feel and visualisation here. You know how to play it. It's a really tidy effort. There's water behind that flag as well on that angle. I love the way he played that. Exactly as Anthony said. He drove that in a bit lower than he has some of the others today. Got the grab on the second bounce. and Well, he's limited the damage, even if he doesn't make it to just the one drop shot from a very awkward spot. And who knows? May well get the par. Basically, this is a pretty stress-free putt. If it goes, it goes. Online short, but you know what? It's 
no disaster, is it? It's still been a fabulous round of... Yes, it's a bogey. So what? It's just been magical. I mean, he and Gavin Green have stood eye to eye. Neither one has blinked. He was unlucky off the tee. Jordan Smith, for the same money, the ball goes over the bunker, and he's got a straightforward shot into the green. So it's been great stuff. Yeah, 62 matches the score of day one. 22 under par through three rounds of golf. The lead back to two. Jordan, thanks for joining us. 62 on day one, 62 again today. Mm -hmm. By six shots, your best 54 ho total ever. Is this you at your very best? Um, close. Close, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a lot of good stuff. I mean, it's, it's the best I've put for a long, long time. And um, yeah, I just needed one more roll on the last there. So I'm really disappointed about that. But um, no, it, it, yeah, I'm, I'm close, to, close to my best, I think. What would it mean to you to come out on top tomorrow? Obviously, you've had some close calls recently. If it happens, then then brilliant. It's, it's, it's the cherry on the cake this year. So um, if it doesn't, then there's going to be another week where, where it might happen. So um, yeah, I'm just going to go out there and play the attacking golf that I've done the last three days, just hitting drive everywhere and um, taking advantage of the soft greens. And yeah, like I said, if it happens, it happens. Terrific playing. Good luck tomorrow. Cheers. Thanks. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.